Hey guys, what's going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center playing some Ark. So today, I thought we'd do something a little different. So we've been breeding out these Pteranodons, right? And we got some pretty good ones, right? We just got this guy today, earlier today. Oh, Rex is looking a little bloody, right, but he's fine. He's almost grown up, it looks like, most of the way. Yeah. Uh... So we got that guy down there, but then up top here we have a ridiculous amount of Pteranodons. Uh, I don't know how many we have. Oh, well over 20, I believe. Which is just an unnecessary amount. Realistically, we need like four. But, you can see here, we've got just a stupid amount. So, uh, I think I want to take the saddles off them, in case they die, and take them out and go kill stuff with them. Because it'd be nice to see what kind of damage these guys can do all in a big swarm, kind of like people use Demorphodons for. So I'm going to go ahead and get these suckers ready. Uh, get them outside, get things ready, and I'll bring you all back. All right, guys, we are back with our Pteranodon swarm all lined up and ready. So what I did was I took them and put them all on highest follow distance and got rid of their saddles because I expect them to die and don't want to lose the saddles. And now we got to actually put them all on follow. And then we're going to fly out on one of our birds. And I did level them all up. Uh, just in, you know, how, whatever levels they already had on them, and threw them uh, all into speed so we keep up. Oh man, how many is that? I should have counted. So let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 Pteranodons in our swarm. And are they all unfollowed? Do we miss any? Nope, we should be good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and fly out and find some stuff to kill. All right, so I flew our swarm out of uh, render range of the base so I could whisper them onto, let's try neutral first. So let's go attack something. How about this, uh, this rhino? See how well they do. So it attacks me and then they swarm it. Oh, they're not killing as fast as I would think. But they're definitely, uh, it's definitely awesome. Come on, take it down. I don't even know what level it is. I hope it's high level at least. Oh, didn't even tell me. But wow, okay. So let's try something. Okay, let's look. Oh, you know why? Because I have this mode on. I have name tags turned off. All right, so let's try this. Take him out. They're not very good at attacking, I've got to say. Oh, there we go. That's some damage. 240 Sabertooth. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find something a little more interesting for us to kill. All right, let's see how the swarm does against a group of Paraceratheriums. Ah, it's like chaos. <laughs> okay, it's a Dilo down, some Meganura. Oh, there goes the Paraceratheriums. Oh my gosh. They're just destroying everything. I can't really, I mean, they're getting a little bit of damage done to them, but definitely not as much as I would think. And they've got, you know, a couple thousand health. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna find something really, ooh, I know what there is. There was a level 24 giga, I think, over by the uh, Skull Island. Maybe we'll go over there. If we can find it, that would be a great test of our swarm. All right, we haven't found the Giga yet, but Brontos do some pretty burly AOE, and this is a really high level one. So this is a really good test for how well these guys are gonna do. I'll get something that does some decent damage. All right, get him! <laughs> how much damage do they do to him? How much do you think he has, like 20,000 health? Oh, they're just demolishing him, it's insane. All right, because I figure if he's got about 20,000 health, maybe he has less. Uh, but then they should do better against the Giga. The only downside is the Giga is going to uh, kill a lot of them, probably. Maybe all of them. I don't know if it'll work. But that is the real test. Is if this is a Giga-destroying swarm. Take out that Bronzo! And, and that was level 324 Bronzo. And, that's gonna be, and they're going to be going against a level... Uh, I, think, I think it was 24 Giga. Let's see if, if we can find it. 
All right, we found the Giga, but I was wrong about the level. It's a level 36, not a 24. But nonetheless, after it kills this Bronto, we're gonna go give it a shot. Ooh, it's killing that Bronto really fast. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so nervous. So this may be where we lose our entire swarm. But, I mean, we gotta know. It's first science, you know what I mean? Okay, let's let it bite me one time. I get it. Ooh, yeah, I feel like, oh no, that's one tear down. <laughs> He's not even bloody. Come on, take him out. That's two tears down. Three, four, the swarm is going down. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. And the swarm is down. Look, you can just see the littered bodies of all my dead pterodons everywhere. You stupid! Ah, I got you! Okay, no. Nope, just that one. That's it. That's it. So, in the answer of who would win, 17 pteranodons or one low-level giga, the answer is one low-level giga. It's good for us to know. Alright guys, so uh, this is going to be a little bit shorter of a video. Reason being is I didn't realize my Tyranodons would die so fast and that was my entire plan for the day. <laughs> but also, I figured since it's shorter, I can kind of ask you guys a couple questions. Um, so, on top of doing ARC, I do like to occasionally do other games, right? I did Osiris for a bit and may continue to do that if people want it and um what was the other one no man's sky but i'd like to do other things uh what are you guys interested in seeing let me know give me a heads up and uh, i'll take a look at it at least um it doesn't have to just be survival games so those are i believe my favorite at the moment um also uh do me a favor and share this with people you know because i want the channel to grow and you guys are super awesome and uh help it would be great if you could help me out but uh for today guys i do think that is gonna be it um, so I know I haven't been doing a whole lot in the social media in the last few weeks on the Twitters, your Instagrams, your Facebooks, and Google Pluses, but I'm going to try to do more of that. So feel free to hit me up there and uh, post something. Give me a little shout out so I know that you guys are interested. Let me know what you guys like, what you guys want. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. This is something that I really enjoy doing, and you guys are super awesome for being here with me. Um, anyways, uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later.